This week from a launch pad in Goyang, South Korea, CARI, that's the Korean Aerospace Research Institute, a rocket was launched into space. Named NURI, or WORLD, the three-stage rocket carried a dummy satellite as part of a test flight to gauge whether it could thrust a satellite into space. It couldn't, but President Moon Jae-in described it as an achievement for a first trial of the South Korean-made rocket. The technologically advanced country has struggled with space exploration, but Thursday's launch was the most successful yet. Previous launch attempts failed with one rocket exploding minutes after takeoff. South Korea aims to send a probe to the moon by 2030. Liftoff. Atlas V takes flight. Meanwhile, from Cape Canaveral in Florida, NASA successfully launched an Atlas V rocket carrying a craft named Lucy on a 12-year mission to explore eight asteroids. Seven of them are in a traffic jam of rocks orbiting Jupiter that are believed to be remnants of a planetary formation. Lucy's journey will span more than 6 billion kilometers. The spacecraft's name comes from the 3.2 million year old remains of our human ancestor found in Ethiopia nearly half a century ago and was inspired by the Beatles song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. The craft carries the band's lyrics on a plaque. In other news, the Russian film crew aboard the ISS finished their mission of shooting the first movie in space. They wrapped up a 12-day visit to film segments of the film Challenge, in which a surgeon rushes to the space station to save an ailing cosmonaut played by real-life cosmonaut Oleg Novitsky. After undocking, the capsule landed in Kazakhstan. Several thousand kilometers away in Egypt, a mechatronics engineer built a robot that turns humidity into water. This robot is supposed to explore areas among the highest levels of humidity on Mars. Mars is known to have high humidity, but there is no water. This robot means life, and it is meant to create life on Mars. Alkumi says the robot took him nine months to build and cost nearly $250. He says his robot can not only scale up from Mars, but in other areas with little access to water. Finally this week, satellite images from the ISS show plumes of smoke from another California wildfire. The Alazal fire began October 11th, and it joins a list of other major fires there this year, putting California on pace to see more burnt acreage than last year, which was the worst fire season on record. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.